everybody, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock, coming to you for another live little demonstration. And I'm continuing with my sort of farewell tour. And today we're going to work with our Timeless Tulips. This, um, it's currently on sale and it will be retiring on May 2nd. So you can get it up through May 2nd when the new catalog rolls into action on May 3rd. This one will be gone. So if you like this, you know, you might want to think about getting it. There is a matching punch. The punch is not currently on sale. Um, we're going to be working with the punch tonight, too. So let's go ahead and get started. And you can always get all of these on my um, websites. Hi, Linda. How are you today? So to get started, we're going to do, as we always do, we're going to start with a really basic card. It's a simple stamping card. We're just going to use some stamps, inks, and paper. And we're just going to add a couple of little embellishments there. And I've left this one blank because I figured people might need a Mother's Day card, a thank you card, a happy birthday card. You could use this for Easter if you want to make something last minute to bring with you when you go to someone's house for Easter. So we're ready to go. So I love working with the purple and yellow combo. I just think it's such a classic combination. So I've got here a piece of our um, Daffodil Delight, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I'm going to add a um, piece of our basic white that is four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that right in to our inside. And again, I'm not stamping anything on here because I want to leave it blank because I don't know what I'm going to do with this card yet. Now I always say stamp and stick. Um, but if you have to, you can make a little label and stamp on your label and then stick your label on the inside. So lots of ways to, to get around that not stamping on this piece so you don't mess it up. Okay, then I have piece a piece of our, um, this is the Flowering Fields. This is going away at the end of June. This is in the current mini catalog. This will be around to, till June 30th, so if you like this, you have a little bit more time to go ahead and get that. So this is just a piece, it is four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to go ahead and add that to the front of my card. And again, I'm using basic cuts because again, this is for a beginning crafter, a beginning stamper. So we're keeping everything really very basic so that really anyone can sort of make this card. Okay, so we've got that down. Then I have a piece of, um, just another piece of basic white. This is four by two and three quarters, I believe. Right? Yep, four by two and three quarters. And we're going to just go ahead and stamp some little tulips and stems on there. Now, I am using, excuse me, I am using um, photopolymers. So I am going to use my stamp and pierce mat. And I'm also going to put down a piece of scrap paper because my stems are very long. And they're actually going to kind of stamp off of this white paper. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stamp a big tulip, a little tulip, and a couple of stems. So I'm going to stamp my tulips. I have some Highland Heather here. You can use you can use yellow, you can use purple, you can use really whatever color you want. Um, you can use the fresh freesia. I just kind of wanted to go with the Highland Heather. So I've got my big tulip. I'm kind of stamping them like on a little bit of an angle because I don't know about you, but whenever I put flowers in a vase, they never stand up straight. They always seem to kind of go off to the side a little bit. Get that out of the way. I'm going to use that one again. I'm going to use this. Hi. How's your weather down there, Linda? It was gorgeous up here today, but now um, it's a wee tad chilly because the wind is picking up. And now they're saying a frozen mix for Monday, which I'm like, good grief. It's the middle of April. I shouldn't be hearing the words frozen mix in the forecast at this point. But... Apparently, Mother Nature did not get the memo. All right, we're just going to stamp a couple of stems. And remember I said this is going to stand, it's kind of long, so it's going to stamp off of my paper, which is fine. Um, actually, I'm going to stamp this one first. Okay, and then there's a little bit too much of a bend, so I kind of want to fix that a little bit. I don't want it to bend quite so much. And that's the beauty of these photopolymers is that you can sort of make them not bend as much as you want. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add that here. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and add a leaf. I'm just going to add one leaf, maybe two. We'll see. I'm going to add maybe one leaf down here. And then maybe we'll do, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, another, we'll do a half a leaf down here. And maybe one more little leaf up here. Here we go. Just kind of got a couple of different little leaves there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that on our, I'm just running out of room over here to put all my stuff. Let me just close these up because I am kind of a messy stamper. All right, we're ready to put that on and I'm going to use our stamp at dimensionals, which I have lost about three sheets of these today. I have no idea where they are. They're down here somewhere, because I was just working with them, but it kind of looks like a bomb was dropped down here. It's very messy. I have a craft fair on Saturday, so I've been getting ready, and it's, it looks like a whirling dervish came through, because everything is all over the place. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and add that right there. And then we're going to add some of these brass butterflies. I love these little guys. I believe these are carrying over. I'm pretty sure these are carrying over into the new catalog, two of those. And then we're gonna have, I have some of this gorgeous grape ribbon, which I love these sheer ribbons. I just love the way they tie. I think they're just so pretty. So we're just gonna tie a quick little bow. And then we're gonna, nothing's ever quick when you're doing it live. You're always like, oh, I'm gonna do a quick little bow. And it never goes the way it should go. But we will, we will triumph. It's awfully quiet upstairs. It makes me a little nervous when the dogs are this quiet. Kind of means maybe somebody's getting into something they shouldn't get into, but my husband's upstairs, so hopefully, hopefully nobody's getting into any trouble. Okay, I'm just gonna trim this. Let's trim that on the angle. And then we're just gonna put that on our card with a glue dot. And you can hear everything's falling down. It's like Jenga. So I got everything just kind of mishmash. Let's put that kind of right there where our stems cross. And there we have our simple stamping card. Okay. So easy peasy, anything, something really easy that a beginning stamper can do. Just two colors of ink and very simple. All right, let's go ahead. Let's show you what we're going to do. Today we're going to make a wiper card. If you've never made a wiper card, they're very fun because it has a little surprise element that will pop up. Now, if you sign up for my May class, we're going to be working with the Biggest Wish stamp set, but one of our designs will be a wiper card. Um, so if you want all the dimensions and all those instructions on how to put this together, sign up for my May class and you'll get it with your tutorial. All right, so we're gonna start off here. I've got a piece of petal pink. It's four and a quarter by eight and a half. Then I scored it at five and a half and at seven. And then I have another piece that is two inches by eight and a half and I scored it at one and a half and three. So this is going to form like the mechanism, okay? Then we've got some basic white. I thought I had some basic white that we're going to use for the inside, well, like the front piece and the back piece. So we're gonna do those first. And I believe that I made this one a Mother's Day card. So these pieces are four by five and a quarter and they will fit perfectly right here. So let's go ahead, let's work on this back piece first. So it's going, remember our card's going to close like that. So when we're stamping, make sure we stamp it the right way. Because <laughs> heaven knows we don't wanna stamp it the wrong way. All right, so this has this has a lovely um, Happy Mother's Day sentiment. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that in our Poppy Parade, which I really like the way Poppy Parade and Petal Pink work together. I just think it's a pretty combination. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp a Happy Mother's Day. Now, if you want, I got a little crazy here and I stamped the small tulip on the bottom. I'm not sure that I'm really feeling that, so I'm gonna leave that off for now, and I'm just going to keep it simple with just the Happy Mother's Day. 
So this way it gives you lots of room to write Get out of the way for now. If you want to write a note to, you know, your mother, your mother-in-law, your godmother, your grandmother, whoever is the mother figure in your life. Um, you know, you can use that space to write in a little note. All right. So here we go. Now. All right. So there we have that. Now we have our other piece. Excuse me, and I'm going to stamp some of our uh, tulips, but I'm going to stamp the larger one, uh, the middle size one, and the small one. And I'm going to stamp the small one first because I'm going to stamp that in petal pink. And I always like to say stamp light to dark. So always stamp your light colors first, <clears throat> excuse me, and then stamp your darker colors. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to stamp in petal pink. Get this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to stamp maybe one here and maybe one here. Okay. And then I want to stamp one of these bigger ones in the poppy parade. And I'm just going to stamp one kind of right there. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add some stems. And those we're going to stamp in our old olive. We used evening evergreen on the previous card for this one. I'm going to use old olive. I just need to wipe off my little stems thing really quickly. Okay. Okay, so I'm just, whoops. I almost put that in Poppy Parade. Again, I want my little sheet. It might just go a little tiny bit off the paper. So I just want to make sure I have a piece of paper there. All right. So I've got one there and I've got kind of one there and I've got one here. Now I'm not going to worry about leaves for this one because most of this is going to be hidden behind like the arm, the bottom arm of our card. So I'm just going to leave those just like that. Okay, then I'm going to stamp. Um, I'm going to put this onto our card front. So that's going to go right there. All right, so. Oh, this, this one's been giving me a problem. Oh, now it's not. Let's hope it stays that way. For some reason, it kept ripping my cardstock earlier, and I don't know why. Every once in a while, it gets a little persnickety. Okay, so now we've got that. Okay, so now we're ready to start working on our, our arm mechanism. Okay, so I have two little pieces of the, the designer series paper. These are one inch by uh, one and three quarter inches. And we're going to put that right here. I just dropped a piece that we'll need. Okay. So I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there we go. Those are little, just little pieces there. I've got a bigger piece. This is, I think, five and a quarter inches by um, one and three quarters. We're just gonna put that there. And I'm using the reverse side. I just thought it was a little too much with the tulips. So I wanted to use the reverse side there. And then we'll put tulips on the last long arm. Okay, so we're just gonna put that there. Oh, I think my lights are dying. Okay, now <clears throat> I wanna take this end, and I'm gonna use a little bit of our liquid glue for this because I wanna make sure that we have a good strong hold. I'm gonna put a little liquid glue there and I am going to match this up edge for edge right there. Okay, so that's just gonna get glued to this first like score line, this first inch and a half is where we're gonna glue the edge of that two inch by, five, by eight and a half inch piece. I'm calling this like the stabilizing bar because it helps stabilize the card. 
All right, so now while that's working, let's go ahead. And once that's done, then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna put this designer series paper right over there, just like that. But let's go ahead, I need to stamp our big tulip. We're gonna stamp and punch out our big tulip and one leaf. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me close up this one because we're done with the petal pink. Okay, we're going to stamp a large tulip. I'm gonna stamp it right here. Okay. And now we're gonna punch this out. Okay. This is what I hate, is getting this lined up. All right, close enough. And then we're going to stamp one leaf. Just wipe this off, because I'm going to do the old olive again. We had done the evening evergreen prior. So I'm gonna do one leaf. Just make sure, stamp it, stamp it over here, okay. And now we're gonna punch, and we're gonna punch out that leaf. Oh, let's get that piece out. Okay. Okay, Whoop. come on. All right. Close up these. And so we'll use our poppy parade ink one more time, but for now we're done with it. So let me just get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. Okay. So now we've got our tulip and our little leaf, and we're just going to attach them together. We're gonna to use a little glue dot to just kind of put that leaf on top, uh, behind that tulip. And of course, even though I said I had everything out and ready, I can't find my glue dots. Oh, there they are, they're behind the card. I'm like, I try to have everything ready and within arm's reach, but sometimes I'm not always successful. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little glue dot on the back of this tulip, and I'm going to put this right there. Now make sure it doesn't stick out too much because we don't want it to stick out from behind this um, and then have people see it. So let's go ahead and be ready to put this on. Let's go ahead and put this one on. I don't know if I like stamp and seal or if I like the plus better. I, think, I definitely like the plus. Mm, jury's still out on the stamp, regular stamp and seal. All right, I'm just gonna put that there and I'm gonna make sure that I cover up the edge of that green piece that was there, okay? So you see how it's coming together? Now, we're gonna open this up. Now I have here a piece of the petal pink. This is one inch by one and seven eighths because I wanted it to be a little bit shorter than the two inches here. And then I've got a piece of our window sheet that is two inches by half an inch. So I'm gonna take this corner, I'm gonna fold it up so it meets this top edge. We're just gonna make like a little triangle. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of like that, okay? So you see that? It, we just fold it up that bottom edge to meet the top. Now, we're going to take this corner. We have two, fold, two score lines here. We've got the outer score line, and then we've got the inner score line. We want to line up this fold line with that inner score line, okay? And I'm gonna put a little glue here, and then I'm going to fold that piece down. Okay, so that is what's going to become like the, the, the mechanism that's going to raise and lower. Going, this is like the wiper blade. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this down like that and see how it doesn't go beyond our, um, our bottom edge of this. If it did, you just trim it with a scissor. I'm gonna take another glue dot and I'm going to put this like right there, kind of like right towards the top. And then I'm going to take another glue dot on the back of my tulip and I'm just going to put it kind of like right there, okay? All right, now fold this back again. Now I wanna take and I wanna put some glue here on this, like where the first, from the edge to that first score line, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue 
And then we're going to fold this over and match up the edges there. So match up the bottom edge and that left edge. Okay, and then when you close it, see how my flat, my leaf is sticking up just a little tiny bit? And now when we open it there, that tulip pops up. Okay, but let's finish up. So I'm gonna stamp, you have a little hello. I'm going to stamp that three times on here. Again, I keep losing everything, even though I thought I was very prepared. Not nearly as prepared as I had hoped. <laughs> oh my goodness. I keep trying, right? All you can do is try. Maybe one of these days I'll get it down where it's like perfect, no mistakes, but I don't really think so, but one can hope. Now I'm just gonna, now you can stamp the hello as many times as you want. I just did it three times and I just kind of staggered. It's like the H was kind of coming up between the L and the O on the hello. And then I'm going to put that on there with Stampin' Dimensionals, but be careful because we're only going to put them along like the very edges because it's going to stick up and we don't want this piece to get stuck to this bottom. So just be very cognizant of where you're putting, sorry, I just knocked it, um, where you're putting your dimensionals. Okay, so that they don't get caught on that the back of the card. Okay, there we go. All right. Ay, ay, ay. All right. That dimensional cover didn't want to come off. So I'm going to put that there. Now I'm just going to kind of make sure as I put it down that I'm not. Okay. And I didn't catch my dimensionals on the back. So that's good. So now we've got that. And I'm just going to add some of our iridescent rhinestones. Because, you know, who doesn't like a little bling? And you can put on as many of these as you want. I would say anywhere between three to five only because usually in nature, things are oddly numbered. They're not evenly numbered. So I'm just gonna put on five today. Okay, that kind of wasn't where I wanted that last one, but it kind of got stuck on my finger. And that is our wiper card. How fun is that? Is that not a fun card? So again, this will be one of the de designs we're featuring, I'm featuring in my May class. Not this per se, but the wiper mechanism because we're obviously we're using a different stamp set because all this will be gone. Um, but that is um, our two cards for today. So we have our simple stamping card with just stamps, inks, and paper. Very simple, very easy for a beginner stamper to, to replicate this. And then we've got a little bit more avid with that wiper mechanism going on. But isn't that a fun little card? All right, folks, that's it for this edition of uh, Live with Crafty Clock. I will see you all next week. Have a great week, everybody. Happy Easter. I hope you get to spend it with those you love. I'll talk to you all next week. Bye.